Blood, Sweat and Tears, Photographs from the Great Miner Strike 1984, published by Artworker Books in 1985, 144 pages. It's that lovely old sort of square, eight and a half by just under eight. It's like, it's like a square, but it's just a little bit under. It's, it was of interest to me because it's got work by John Storkin, who I absolutely love. It's got Keith Patterson, John Harris as well. It's got a forward by Arthur Scargill, an introduction by the journalist, I presume, the journalist Paul Foot. And it's from, a lot of it's from where I grew up and, and, and I was in a community which was also affected by the strike. And I remember as a young lad, this all going on. So I want to run through it. It's some amazing pictures in. It has, these are the contents, the forward by Arthur Scargill, introduction by Paul Foot, on the move, 14. All grieve the turning point. So that was the Battle of All Grieve, wasn't it? And I think that's a famous, isn't there a famous John Harris picture from the, the, the Siege of All Grieve or something like that? I'll find out. The pulling together, the final fights, and the, at the end, it's quite a, a structured book. It's quite a poignant book. Some amazing pictures in it. Here is the forward by Arthur Scargill, who was the president of the NUM from 1982 to 2002. And this is an introduction by Paul Foot. Paul Foot, I'm aware, was a, an investigative journalist, and I think he did a lot of socialist-based stuff as well. And this is a sort of introduction by him. And there's John Sturrock's name there, and John Harris, IFL. Now I don't know who that is, international freelance or something like that. I don't know. I might be totally wrong. I know he's it. Report Digital now and John Sturrock Network. I love John Sturrock's work, but I love also um, John Harris's work as well. There's a photographer called Keith Patterson in here who was associated, I think, with the Amber and Side Gallery in Newcastle, and that's the only real place I've seen his work, which, are, which was the coal mining pictures. So this is Sturrock. This is everybody looking at after Scargill. Some amazing shots. I mean, look at that. And, you know, these books in the 80s where I thought were more like information guides, weren't they? They weren't just for the photography book, but the sort of, the photography book, sorry, the, photo the photographs often got lost in a design like this. This needs to be big, it's so amazing. This is in Staffordshire. Ah, oh, look at that. This is Keith Patterson. I love Keith Patterson's work and what I've seen of it. Pick up in money in Easington, that's where I come from, roughly. Look at that. John Harris. That's a famous shot as well. Seeing that, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? just in the sort of demonstration part. Look at that. Wow, that's hysteric. You see why I love Sturrock's work so much? It's so powerful. Look at that. You can pick this book up uh, under a tenner. It's just well worth it. So now there's a link here. Look at this. Somebody circled that. And I wonder if that's a person who had this book before me. Wow, how interesting is that? I've never noticed that. Great shot. There's not many photographers, well there are actually, I tell a lie, but I was gonna say there's not many photographers, when I look at the work, I get really excited. And I do when I look at Sterrick's work. It really excites me. So where are we at now? So this is the, the all grieve, this is the turning point. This was the, the siege, wasn't it? This was the mass battle. There's a really famous picture by um, John Harris in this. Look at that. Look at that. That's a steric picture. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Look at that as well. That's incredible. There's a lot of other photographers, Mark and Shapeshaft. Wow. 
that looks like it's it's two verticals split into what looks like almost one horizontal. That's quite an interesting concept that both John Harris's shots. I think I'm just come up a little bit there. That's it. And that's the Scotsman. There's some of the iconic shots are missing there from both Harris and um, and Sturrock. So this is going back, sorry, is the support for the miners. Look at that. The community involvement. The coming together, the support, the women, and the pickets and the scabs and the, the rivalry. I like the way it sort of branches into a more um, informative piece where, you know, some of the pictures are not like amazing, but they serve a purpose for the storyline. And this is Kellogg's workers from Manchester, regularly donated money, clothes and cereals to the kitchen and Pontefract. This is one of the Harris shots I was thinking of, the seed shot. This is just like, look at that. Let's come down on this. Just look at that. The vision to get that on the lighting and everything. Unbelievable. Rest of page, format. Keith Patterson. That's at Easington. Building a barricade to repel Wilkinson, the Easington scab. Wow. The scab was somebody who defied the picket line and went to work. Oh, here's. Here's the stoic shot, I mean. Look at that. That's the iconic shot I was looking for. Wow. I'm sure Harris had a shot like that. Look at that. Oh, it's... Sort of riot police. Look at the shot owners there, look at that. It looks quite weird because it looks almost like it was a, a poster on the wall. But it's actually the shop. And so it's open for business as usual. And it's historic. Look at that. Chris Killip. A subtle shot by Chris Killip. There were 1,000 pickets and 2,000 to 3,000 police. For the first few days, people couldn't go anywhere. Easy and branch official. And there's a shop saying, no police, sorry, no police. My kids call the police pigs. Ah, well, oh, look at that, Keith Patterson. Wonderful. This is like near where I was brought up. It just feels like I'm back there. Mike Abrahams, network. A lot of network involvement with this was Sturrock. And Mike Abrahams. Look at that. Early morning picket, isn't that beautiful? Keith Patterson. We're pulling together. Let's have a look. Look at that. This is an Imogen Young shot. Isn't that amazing? And this is potato picking near Doncaster. And this is an Easington. Isn't that amazing? Keith Patterson. Martin Shakeshaft. That's in um, Maybe. I don't know what that is. Wow, look at that. And this is a Keith Patterson. Laurie Sparham Network. Oh, look at that. This is a racer page shot format. Wonderful. This is another Sturrock. It's amazing, isn't it? Call picking behind Earth Mover on a disused pit stack. South Kirby, Yorkshire. And this is strikers riddling for coal were injured when the tip collapsed. 
Hunt will need socks and underpants appeal in Nottinghamshire minus strike bulletin. And that's that there. That's historic. This is, the, this is um, I think this is a place where they are getting all the donations and stuff, aren't they? And bringing back fuel for the fires there. Philip Gordon, Reflex. Some names in here I haven't heard of for quite a while. Sea Calling, Easington. Keith Patterson, it's a great shot by Sturrock. Sturrock's vision is just amazing. Look at that, oh, amazing. It's a real privilege going through this stuff and seeing it. It's another Sturrock. Get this book, you can get it for under a tenner. There's a few copies around. If you're lucky, you'll get one. But it's just a great vision and a great piece of history and another historic network. On them, on that in Monk Weymouth, the final fight. I don't know who that is. That's a side gallery collection. That could be Patterson. I might be wrong. And these are the, the scabs. Look at that. Martin Jenkinson, look at that, is that amazing? That's in Ferry Bridge Power Station, Pontefract. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. This is uh, John Harris. These are the scabs going into work and that's, I remember that at the time. Wouldn't want to be around being a scab then, that'd be incredibly scary. Easington. John Sturrock. There's some amazing pictures in here. It's just... It's a Keith Patterson there. That's in escorting a scab home. And after the end... And we'll just end on that. And that is... Over page March to commemorate the first anniversary of the death of David Jones on the picket line. And that, I think, is John Sturrock. Am I right? Am I wrong? Yeah, I think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, somebody. That is just immense. So, and that's a Jeremy Nichols shop, Merthyr Vale Colliery, Aberfan, South Wales, 85. What a book. What a lovely book. You can get this on eight books, you can get this on Amazon. Just go and check it out, it's wonderful. And some great photography, some great photographers. A really interesting time. Take time to read it and have find out about it. I've just skimmed through it. It's a fantastic book, thank you.